My name is Brian Hopkins, Chief Petty Officer, Engineer and Mechanic. Period of service in HMAS Voyager was from January 1963 till uh, her loss in 1964 in February. It is now known as the worst peacetime disaster in Australian maritime history. 82 men died and the loss of a, a very young seven-year-old destroyer. Here at the Voyager's sister <laughs> ship, the Vampire, Brian Hopkins revisits that night. To bring back memories, being back here. Melbourne had been chasing the, uh, the wind. Voyager was struck here and subsequently broke in half. Brian was having a shower at the time of collision and was the last sailor to escape. I went in uh, au natural. <laughs> uh, swam uh, yeah, 50 metres or so out to a life raft and uh, we kicked the life raft away from the ship. The whole place was moving. So Beyond the initial shock, the chief petty officer says he didn't think he had suffered any trauma. Unbeknownst to me, I like uh, survivor's guilt started to... Uh, rare its ugly head. At 19, the young sailor had just handed over his shift to another crewmate an hour before the disaster. He, along with the crew that I steamed with the week before, they all perished. He remembers others too. Chief Coxon, Buck Rogers, he was physically too large to fit through the manhole and he was tossing guys through the escape hatch to escape. Being a Welshman was leading the guys that were trapped in him abide with me. As the, the forest section went under. His great granddaughter Juliet grew up captivated by Pop Brian's stories. He's brave. He did a good thing. It was hard to like get on the ship and stuff. To get out, it was difficult. She even brought some of her school friends to meet her hero. I could see myself joining the army or the navy. That made me very proud. Yeah. But I go for the Navy first before the Army. <laughs> Probably more. Brian Hopkins has recently been diagnosed with terminal lung cancer, something Juliet knows. Hey, kid. Come here. He faces his mortality now, as he did 60 years ago, armed with his old ship's motto, Quo Fata Vocan. We will go where destiny calls. Nabil Al-Nashar, ABC News, Sydney.